Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at my growing isopod collection. I have two species currently but I got four more in the mail today so I'm super excited about that. Let's go take a look. So here are the two cultures I currently have. I have some powder orange there and some scaber dalmatians and uh, I've learned a few things already on these. One, you can see I just have little holes for ventilation. It's not enough. So we open this you can kind of see I got some mold going on there so we'll have to increase ventilation on this but See if we can find any here so these guys have been doing really well for me like i said i've only have well, actually i've had these ones for about two weeks same with the dalmatians over here which are these guys i've noticed they're not quite as active so i don't know if i don't have their environment tuned into what they like but uh, we'll see if we can find some so here we have one here, finally found one. It is not dead. These guys like to play dead. It takes a couple minutes and they'll start walking around. That one doesn't have very many spots on it though. Um, here's another one down here moving around. A little bit bigger one there, there you go. There you can kind of see that one there. He's got the black spots on him. So obviously that's why they're called Dalmatian. Like I said, I don't think I have their environment really tuned into how they like it. I'm still learning. So these are my two cultures. I did cut out openings and attach some screen to it since uh, I showed these last. So I got four more coming in the mail from Russ at Aquarimax. Actually, I've already got them. So I need to set up four more containers, which we have here. Now these are just the two quart Ziploc containers that you can get at pretty much any grocery store. And for the substrate, I'm using one brick of compressed forest moss and then one brick of compressed plantation soil, both made by uh, Exoterra. As you can see, this is really wet. This has been soaking for a couple days now. I'm just going to squeeze all the water out of here just so this is nice and moist. But... All right, here we go. All four containers. We've got the base layer in here and it's nice and just kind of damp, not soaking wet. So should work out pretty well. Next, we've got to add the leaves, which I got right here, which is oak leaf litter that I got at the last reptile show here that we had. And then we're just going to take it and spread it out through all these containers here. So there's estimated to be about 10,000 species of isopods and it's really 50-50, about 5,000 terrestrial species, 4,500 saltwater species, and then about 500 freshwater species. So now that we got the top layer of leaves on there, I'm just going to kind of dig in some cork bark and some random places here. They seem to really enjoy cork bark as there's lots of crevices and places to hide, that sort of thing. A few smaller pieces over here. And then you just want to give it a quick spray. This is out of my dehumidifier, so if you don't have a dehumidifier, I would recommend distilled RO, definitely dechlorinated water of some type. And that's pretty much it. Now we can see the new species I got. So the first ones we're going to take a look at are the dwarf white isopods, as you can see here. I don't actually see any in there, but they are dwarf. Oh, there they are. Oops. Now we can see them. Now, like I said earlier, they do like to play dead, so it'll take a couple minutes. So there's a little baby one moving over here, and really, really tiny ones are moving around, but these two big ones right here, they're definitely playing dead. So there are the dwarf whites, not that you probably saw any of them. Next up, we have another dwarf species. There you go, species Tarangana, <laughs> Tarragona, Terra something. Oh yeah, these are much bigger. Easy to spot these ones. Well, maybe if I get my shadow out of the way. There, see him? This is a really nice size. If these are adults, which I assume they are. Oh, lots of them in here. Very nice. See one playing dead right there. Of course, you know, he might actually be dead, but... Uh, so far, every time I've seen them like that, and I think they're dead, they end up moving a little bit later, so... Definitely playing dead. There's a little baby one right there. Probably can't see it. Oh, yeah, you can. species right here I'm actually hoping to put in my crested gecko terrarium be a nice addition so now we're getting into some larger species here orange vigor oh there's quite a few of them in here too
Oh yeah, look at those guys. These guys are gonna blend in really well. Much bigger as you can see. Not seeing any babies in this one, which is all right. Hopefully they'll come in here and make lots of babies. You can kind of see why they're called roly polies. They do roll up to protect themselves. They also roll up like that sometimes to preserve moisture if it dries out a little. See, that one's rolled up really nice. He's He's got that perfected. This guy, he doesn't care. Get off me. Now the next ones, these guys are awesome looking. These guys, as you can already see, look really cool. Well, to me anyways. These are zebra isopods. As you can see, they're all packaged really nicely. Nice big adults. Generous portion here. Looks like we got maybe some carrot in there or sweet potato. Dump that in there too. These guys look really cool. Look at these guys. I love the pattern on them. So all of these do have very similar care requirements except these zebras actually like it a little bit drier. Alright everyone, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to head on over and see Russ at Aquarimax Pets on YouTube where you can find way more detailed information on these species than I can give you. Like I said, I'm new to this so I'm still learning. I've been binge watching his videos, hanging out in his live streams. I'll be putting up links down below. It'll be popping up here somewhere since it's the end of the video. Again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time.